Hello, this is Troy, and I'm here to give you a quick preview of the Twitter research application uh, version 0.003. But, uh, we're getting underway and developed for the Centre of Excellence for Creative Industries at QUT with Axel Runs and team. So we've developed this web front end and uh, which is a front end to the Twitter's streaming API and we've developed a real-time display. Well, I say real-time, it's, it's it polls every one second and looks for data according to this legend here. So let's give it a bell and uh, see how it goes. What I'm about to do is actually use a start command, which I've got a little display here telling me um, outputs of what's happening in the background. Background. So the Twitter bootstrap is running and ready. That means the streamer is awaiting commands. And I'm going to put in one that I know gets a lot of action. Twitter. So as that runs through there, oh, we've got a message saying stream disconnected. So what I need to do is quickly jump over here and reset my uh, connection. It's a common problem here at QUT with the IAS blocking out my internet connection. So as I get that running, we should be able to see that now the stream is connected and away we go. So what that is actually doing is using the search term Twitter and streaming in activity, as in tweets, that contain the word Twitter. And we're mapping retweets, the number of hashtags, the number of URLs, and the number of user mentions within those tweets. We've got our polling statistics coming through here with the total tweets, and all totals of each of those records, our attributes, and uh, the, these are the rates. These are boxes here to indicate the rates per second. So as that populates, I'll jump over to the back end and give you a quick overview of what's involved. I use the IDE Eclipse to help me get this underway and I've developed up a number of Java library objects that interface with the API and also a MySQL database. So I've developed the Twitter research library which contains the code behind doing the work and this Twitter research web app which is the front end display. So a bit further into detail there, I use, uh, let's open up one of these classes and you can see I'm calling the Twitter 4J library to override some uh, Twitter 4J objects as it streams in. I am As it streams in on the status event, I write some information over to a database. Oop. It's going a bit weird there, but uh, so on on limitations, update the database as well. And I also dump the JSON record over to a file location. So as that is continually polling 
and streaming in the tweets on Twitter, we can start to accumulate quite a bit of data in collecting those tweets and I'll quickly show you how that's looking over here. If we go to the file that I mentioned storing the JSONs, let's have a quick look at what we've got in here. So we've collected over 120 meg worth of JSON, JSON Twitter data and that's continually growing as the stream continues to collect data. And the, the format of that, I can show you, this is a, the tail end of, let's clean that up so you can, this is the file here. This is the JSON format of those tweets. It's one line per tweet in the JSON format. Now the plan later is to take this data and further analyze it. Um, using Hadoop technologies. So, as that's coming through here, we can see uh, as that graph is populating. I mentioned Twitter 4J, I have to also mention Flot Charts and um, thank the developers of both those open source technologies. So that pretty much will wrap up this quick overview of how we're looking for the Twitter research application of version 0.003.